Honorable Minister, Erasmus Mutoni, all the Deputy Ministers present, distinguished guests, and the general public, a very good morning to you all. It is my pleasure to present in this important forum the Nayeli Simpson Angola, um, the Property Valuations Manager at FMD. I'm going to do a presentation on the importance of impact of property valuations to the housing property market. Um, yes, that's just the outline of my presentation. It's quite uh, yet, but I'm trying to keep it very short in terms of the discussions. Uh, I'm going to talk about just briefly about the background and introduction, just to put things into perspective. And I'm going to touch about the uh, perceptions on values of properties, you know that uh, the way somebody sees its value or perceives the value of the property is different from the other person. And the basics, uh, and that's where I'm going to talk about the role of valuations in pricing of houses. Um, and then I'll move on, of course, to um, different types of property values. And then um, valuation methodologies that are applied to derive market values and analysis or techniques that are involved. Um, and then obviously I'll talk about the reasons or challenges that are faced um, in property valuations and just to speak to the media and the media context and of course I'll conclude. Yeah, um, I don't want to dwell too much on this uh, slide, I just wanted to put things into perspective when it comes to housing, which is viewed as a basic human right, and so each and every human being um, deserve the right to own a house or to have a shelter or by his head. Um, and obviously, um, the house is, is, is one of the commodities and consumable commodities, if I can put it. Obviously, um, scarcity and utility plays a role in any commodity and therefore there is value to, to it. Now, um, Houses uh, are regarded as good investment and simply because of the reason that it does not depreciate. We will talk about depreciation uh, in terms of its value, uh, although the value might uh, drop, but the perception out there is that the house is a very good investment because of low depreciation factor to it. Um, and also, just to also mention that you know, fluctuations into, in housing prices. Uh, it's actually not um, a, a health condition, also the health um, situation, a health situation when it comes to the economy. Um, as we all know that the Namibian uh, housing market at some point uh, was rated second to Dubai, which was the first in terms of um, the highest prices of values of properties, which for me um, shouldn't be the case. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, obviously this is a situation, it's a crisis that uh, a lot of stakeholders do have a role to play, uh, including governments, um, professionals, um, town planners, valuers, estate agents, developers, and so on. Now, in terms of evaluations uh, as a professional, it actually plays a role uh, in terms of advisory role, that is to help um, uh, advise the participate in the market as to what are the best prices, what are the prices and the value of, of, of the properties that are um, being transacted. So in that way, it helps um, uh, create uh, stability in the housing prices so that uh, there are no high fluctuations in terms of increases or, or, or decline in, in, in values of properties. Now, this slide really just show, and I, I know it's going to be an slide to everyone here, where you, as, as, as the owner of the house, you see your house as fairly uh, highly valuable, but then when you look at the buyer, you see the buyer in the bank, you see it's maybe the same life, but slightly not as highly valuable as you see it. Uh, of course, the valuer now will come with a more um, middle point where not deciding what the buyer and the bank is. And that way is now playing in, uh, a role to advise the buyer and the bank and, and the seller who's you. Uh, now, when you, it's more valuable because you, you know, 
you've invested so much into your house, maybe to upgrade it or even to purchase it and so on and so forth. Now, just the basics, and this is very important uh, when it comes to property valuations, is that uh, evaluation is basically a definition of the monetary worth of the, of the property. Um, at a given time, um, and using various technologies, um, the other values are going to touch on that data in the presentation. And it's basically an opinion of somebody based on data uh, that, that are observed by, by the valuer. And it's not perfect. Um, so it's an opinion of a, a value in terms of how much valuable or what is the price that this um, asset can fetch once put on the market. Um, and in terms of the valuation itself, it's probably 40%, uh, 60%, 40% art and 60% science. Art in the sense that it, it, it involves a lot of judgment, uh, personal experience, uh, and so forth. And science in the sense that it, there are prescribed methodologies and, uh, and, and standards and, and, and uh, procedures that uh, the valuer needs to employ in, in determining the value of the property. Uh, now, also just to mention the dis to distinguish between the value and the cost, because a lot of times you, you, you see people confuse the two. Uh, concept value is basically the word of an object and it's not equal to cost of the price. Uh, this is because, for example, it can cost you a uh, million dollars uh, in terms of maybe the value of the land or the cost of the land and the cost of putting up the structure on the land. But if you put the same product on the market, you might not realize the same amount uh, of money uh, or you might not have buyers that are willing to pay the same amount if you put that property in the market. Because the value is more, uh, you know, personal judgment of 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 of, of, the world of the property, and uh, it can also maybe just also be different because if, for example, it costs you a million to put up, say um, there is fault in the foundations of the way in which this property was constructed, it might end up that uh, yes, we put in a million, but due to this defect, unfortunately, you cannot. So, cost is not equal to value. Uh, types of property values, um, uh, of course there are values of them depending on the purpose of, of the assessment or the valuation. Uh, one of them, the very famous one, is the market value. This is, uh, uh, I will talk about that uh, just a little bit later. And the insurance value, this is basically a basic cost to put up or to place the same property as new. Uh, normally that is uh, um, for the interest of the insurer, then later value, if you want to tell you what is the value that uh, one can put your property on when you hang it out, you can also um, uh, later the values for the municipalities and then and, and so on and so forth. Now, the market value, in terms of the definition of uh, international market standards uh, 2021, the estimated amount, I'm quoting, estimated amount of which an asset or ability or liability to the exchange on the date of valuation between the willing buyer and the willing seller, um, both you know, um, transaction in an unlinked transaction, so it's not a, a related party transaction. Um, after proper marketing, meaning the property needs to be put on the market for a reasonable time uh, for which to attract uh, potential buyers, uh, whereby each uh, party is uh, acting with the knowledge and prudently and without any compassion. So, if the buyer, the buyer is willing, uh, the seller is willing, they both not forced or compelled to, 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 to sell the property or to, to transact, and both have the knowledge about the property, knowledge about the, the market, then that is what we call the market value. So, market value is not the uh, same price uh, because. Um, um, depending on, 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 on for what uh, circumstances the seller or the buyer are in, that determines now whether it's a market uh, value or it's mm -hmm. But of course, the times can be the same, uh, but that is if um, that definition is met that I've just mentioned. Um, there, there are various uh, methodologies of valuations that uh, are here. 
and I'm just going to touch more on uh, the market approach, which is what is mostly applicable to the housing sector. Uh, income approach is more of uh, income producing properties, and cost approach is more on to uh, valuations for purposes of insurance. Market valuation is more on mortgages, um, sale, purchase of properties. And to do that approach, uh, obviously, uh, the approach is to compare Apple with Apple, like with like, whereby the valuer source you know, information from various sources, such as this office, that you can get the transaction, the so of prices that are sold for properties in the neighborhood, or can also get information from the agents um, or practitioners in the property market, um, or can also really get information from their database, can we really get information with uh, records and so on. That is basically to get the sale prices and the attributes to, to put the properties that are transacted. And then obviously you have to do some adjustments because you don't find a property that looks exactly like this other. Um, although there could be some properties that maybe they are exactly the same way, but maybe the location will play a major factor there, um, or maybe the age of the property and then so on. Or well, some adjustment can also be made due to time lapse in terms of the um, of the time at which the sale took place versus the date of the valuation. Um, yeah, so uh, market analysis uh, are performed by followers, and then obviously uh, you have to do some empirical sales analysis and hazard mission. Um, and also have to employ some expert and objective analysis. I'm saying objective because um, Analysis can be at the times subjective, but one needs to be guided by the objectivity of the analysis. And um, comparable market analysis, whereby he needs to eliminate you know, um, some aspects that, uh, for example, maybe the properties do not look alike, or the other properties superior compared to the subject, and so on and so forth. Um, and then, of course, all consideration needs to be made in terms of uh, micro and macro factors, in terms of ex external um, situations uh, surrounding the neighborhood, the physical attribute of the property. Um, um, of course, the, the market in general and so on. Now, the ideal would be to have uh, a comparable state that have just taken place within a very reasonable uh, time because the valuation is done based on the historical data. So you need to compare a similar house that has sold recently. Uh, the norm days normally within a period of six months, but for some reasons you might not get a comparable, you might get sales within six months, but it would be maybe a challenge to get a sale of a similar property in the same neighborhood that transacted within six months. So therefore, you need to do some adjustment there, and the uh, adjustment can be made using several techniques, uh, several data sources, some you know, uh, national consumer price index, for example, just to show how the market is performing uh, from the date of the sale to the date of evaluation. Uh, FNB housing price index that uh, my colleague Sibu also just presented, this just to show how the market is performing in terms of how um, um, Prices are rising or dropping. Um, and then, of course, uh, sales ratios in terms of market assessment, uh, say, previous valuation that was done on the, on the property and what was the eventual, uh, actual concluded sale price. Because, like I said, the valuation is just an opinion. Um, the valuer might give an opinion that this, price, uh, this house is valued or can be priced for a million, but uh, my stretch the high values might be higher or slightly lower. And what you know, need to be considered, one can actually just check uh, in terms of the assessment based on the actual prices that we have coded. And multiple population analysis, I won't go too much into that. I'm going to focus on the resale analysis, which are more, um, um, uh, more into pr uh, practice, and that is basically for me uh, a very quite um, useful analysis tool. Because, for example, one can check, can see, okay, the same property was sold for, for example, was sold for um, 250 in January 2021, but then it was resold. But, but you can find 
It was resolved 88 months later for 280,000 more. So one can analyze um, that kind of data, a lot of uh, transactions, and will be able to, 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 to come to conclusions to how, by how much uh, the property the market is efficient or deficient in demand, and that sector, you can use it to uh, make adjustments to your, to your, to, to, to your comparable sales. Pointing at the right place. I guess you like. Data. 
uh, use of, of methodology, whereby you speed off the value and use the correct methodology that is described for the purpose of the evaluation of the student, for the type of the property that he uses that are different. Uh, methodology, it will definitely yield a different market value. And um, if, for example, one wants to use the cost approach, um, it's a big challenge, especially in the market whereby you know, supply and demand um, outstrips each other. And then the failure to weigh external factors and risks. Uh, this is where probably the location in terms of the external factors that affect the location and the valuer does not uh, weigh those uh, correctly. It's actually it's a big um, uh, risk uh, for me. Uh, or incident whereby you have the current of COVID-19 and the new adjustment actually do not have certainly know what is going to happen in the future in terms of whether the prices are going to appreciate or depreciate. Unethical behavior, uh, this is where a, a buyer, a buyer and seller or an agent collude with the valuer and somehow influence the valuation. Um, and and uh, that is moderate for me. Of course, uh, at the moment, uh, some financial institutions, although I think from the information I have some, still do not have um, internal mitigation process whereby they can actually quite assure the reports that are coming from, from the external powers just to make sure that it meets the standard. Um, lack of adequate data, uh, market data, this is basically in a thin market where you have some small towns and then as much as you need data to analyze and get to the correct value, it um, means a challenge, it's quite sadly. Um, lack of knowledge, and uh, market experience, whereby you find some valuers are buying properties in the market where they have less knowledge um, in terms of experience, probably it's the first time or second time that they are operating in that market. Of course, um, it's moderate because at the moment um, we are just getting you know, self sufficient in terms of uh, having uh, valuation uh, professionals that are guaranteed from us, but there's still a lot to be done in that aspect, in the school still, and so on. Um, lack of standards, this is quite, quite, quite critical for me. Lack of standards um, and standardization in the evaluation itself. Um, of course, although the Professional Act, the Valor's Professional Act was implemented in 2012, up to now it remains uh, uh, not implemented, which actually hinders the, 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 uh, the regulatory aspects of, of Valor's way you, you, know, you can hold them accountable and so on, although there are some mitigation. Um, um, measures that are put by some stakeholders, uh, such as gain to, to control that. Uh, so, in conclusion, uh, the extent to which the price value is um, uh, for value of housing is a function of uh, how active the housing market is in terms of the data that, that is available and that can uh, uh, assist in, uh, in getting accurate valuation at a given time. Uh, the assumptions and analysis. Uh, in terms of the input data and the approach adopted by, by the valuer, uh, it's also a key um, and it's also uh, one of the challenges um, and sanitation in terms of production processes and qualification and experience uh, by the valuer. So, in a natural way, my view, uh, the media is generally about moderate in this regard. I thank you very much.